This is Andrew Wagner here with Walters Mercedes-Benz. Want to show you one of the first of many videos to come. Right here behind me is going to be a product demonstration of the brand new 2019 C300. So this vehicle just got off a truck, is brand new to the marketplace, and I want to show you guys all the legwork that I can do for you versus you having to go online and check it all out. So this particular model, again, as I mentioned, is a 2019 C300. You're going to have a fully redesigned front fascia, side skirting, interior designs, and even the back end. This vehicle's totally been redesigned for you. Standard options, those are gonna be some of the key things. So you're gonna have brand new standard LED lights. I know that was a little bit of a hesitation for folks before. Very good for safety, very good for curb appeal, but also has a very good clean look overall for the automobile. The front end of this vehicle, if you notice here, will have the LED lights. It does have a different design with inside the light compared to our previous model. In addition to that, you do have a redesigned front fascia here. If you notice, this will have our diamond block grille, which is gonna be exclusive to the sport package model, which is this exact vehicle. The front fascias here are gonna be a little bit more wider. Your collision prevention assistance system is still in the vehicle standard and has been upgraded. One of the really nice things I like about this vehicle is with our new redesigned body, you do have a black gloss mentioned here on the side mirrors, the front and the back, that's gonna be part of our night package. So that's gonna be an optional piece of equipment as well as the night package combined with the sport package. Uh, the rotors are gonna still have the perforated rotors on the vehicle as well. That'll help you with stopping on the vehicle. The nice thing is, is that no matter which vehicle color you choose, the night package will be applicable to any of those vehicles. Naturally, a black on black model, you won't be able to see this as much, but it'll provide some great elements. Um, this particular model does have all of our AMG Sport trim along the sides there. The vehicle is going to come with our standard sunroof, which did change over last year. You will have our optional panoramic roof still available for you. As we come around over to the backpack here, you're going to notice that the vehicle does have some new things, such as our LED lighting standard again, transitioning to the back of the vehicle. You're going to have your chrome dual sport exhaust. The night package is going to offer the tapered rear end here that is black gloss. You will still have this uh, rear end uh, definition body design on the non-night package model. You're just gonna get a black gloss element here across the back should you choose that night package. Our HD backup camera is still gonna be in the back of the vehicle there. That will be automatic. It's gonna be also standard. The nice thing is, is that the trunk and the seat classes remain the same size, which has been an excellent size. I personally have used one of these vehicles many years over. Golf clubs, storage things, items to go to the beach, luggage, uh, medical device reps that have to take different things with them. Everybody's been very happy with the size of the trunk of this vehicle, and not to mention, should you make an unexpected trip to the grocery store or somewhere else over the holidays, these seats are gonna flip and transition completely flat, which I'll do for you. You'll notice that those will be a 60-40 split traditionally year over year. Now you have a nice 40-20-40 split, so should you have something maybe a little bit longer that needs to go through the vehicle but still seat two people, you can split that either way or whatever works best for you. So we'll stepping back here into the vehicle, guys. We got some really cool stuff inside. One of the biggest and most noticeable things, 10.25 inch display screen. You will not have the same display screens as the S-Class and E-Class. I know that's a really popular thing we're seeing online these days with the dual displays, but Ben's really stepped up their game here showing you this new display screen. So our previous screen, you had the option of the multimedia or a typical screen, kind of sat up a little bit higher. Nice thing is, is this looks far more flush more in plain with the dash. So some of the really nice stuff that I like is it's easy to see, um, does very well with glare, so while you're driving you don't really have those issues. Some of the nice and simple things is, is as you're scrolling through the safety um, options on the side here in the system, all of your things that you used to do as far as changing display, design, uh, little small things like your lighting and options like that, very easy to get to, very clean, so you'll notice that you can simply just use the knob here and slide through, or one of the nicest things with our redesigned steering wheel that I'll go into in just a moment is, is you can use touch. I find most of us are pretty easy to use with a touch and sliding just like our phones. So you can keep your eyes on the road, briefly glance over and look and scroll right through things. Just for example, on the display and the design, we can click into that. Um, we can go ahead and show additional display areas on this. So you'll actually be able to have multiple screens and functions through here. For example, you can click a navigational map that'll come up on the side, 
consumption, which will basically go into some gas mileage and some averages. Time and date settings makes it real easy and clean. Uh, going back over to the knob, which I do like to use inside of a video like this, you can change things about input and touch sensitivity, just like a cell phone. I find some folks uh, depend on how, I would say tech savvy there, like to slide through things pretty quickly. Um, other folks may be a little bit slower. So you can change all the sensitivity and then all the operating feedback. One of the really nice things is again, the audio system very easy and clean to go through. You can change your navigation and traffic announcements, uh, system feedback, you can go through phone settings in here as well, as far as how loud your phone might or might not ring in the car, which helps out quite a bit if you have other people or clients inside the vehicle. Connectivity, multiple different ways you can connect. This vehicle does have the capability to become a Wi-Fi hotspot. And the nice thing is, is with any new smartphone, whether you're Android or Apple, very easy and simple to pair and connect and kind of multitask inside the vehicle. And so one of the nice things this is one of the really good features I really think will be the most practical for a lot of people is when you go into the Mercedes Me or the Connect platform here in the new screen, keeps things again very simple and clean. You'll be able to do browser options. So again, if you've used uh, the Wi-Fi capabilities, we can go ahead and do some of the basic browsing in the vehicle. You have various Mercedes-Benz apps that'll work out for you. Mercedes-Benz Link, and in addition to that, I think the biggest things most folks like to use is the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So once you go into those things and you click into the CarPlay, you can go ahead and still change settings specific to CarPlay um, and different items through there. So one of the nice things I find is, is no matter what type of phone you use, no matter how tech savvy you are, everything's very easy and simple. It's clearly listed, you push one button, it gets you right to where you need to go. Android users, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you do have the Android Auto app downloaded, and there's a little bit more of a setup process in there. You'll have the same functions. Apple CarPlay will have a little bit more of a cleaner function for immediate pairing on there. Um, again, connecting info, should you not be very good at um, picking these things up automatically, Mercedes-Benz even loads in an operator's manual right into the screen, so you don't have to pull out anything. You can take a quick look, it'll tell you Android Auto overviews. You can go into little side tabs here about uh, information on Mercedes Me for accident management, making a call, or overviews of Apple CarPlay. So besides just watching the video, you'll have a little bit of a supplemental um, overview of what's inside the car and how to use it. So the nice thing is, is with the new Apple CarPlay or Android Auto system, you'll notice that the vehicle is very simple to pair. Once your USB port is plugged into the smartphone integration port, you can simply close it on up. The car's gonna ask you, would you like to start Apple CarPlay? automatically or manually. I recommend automatically, makes things simple. We'll simply just select that. It is gonna go through a little bit of a user agreement, so you wanna go ahead and read that in either accept and start and decline or end, depend on your personal preferences. Obviously here in this video, we're gonna accept and start. Um, so one of the things you'll notice is, is it will automatically pull everything that you are used to uh, using on your iPhone right here up front. I like simple and easy. This is what I find inside most of the new cars and I find that most of my clients will like this as well. Um, some of the nice things is using phone system settings, such as what you have here, phone calls, phone book, that's all in there. Your text messages are all in there. Your mapping's all in there. Those three things I find are the primary things that folks will use. Although your iTunes music library, Pandora, Spotify radio, various internet radios, whatever your choice is, those apps are gonna be downloaded here. That includes ways too, should you wanna use that as an alternative for mapping or any other systems you like. Um, one of the nice things is, is you do have voice commands, which is the easiest way to use things. Simply holding up the voice command button for a moment, you'll see Siri's wavelengths are gonna come right across. Siri, take me to the Staples Center. Getting directions to Staples Center. What you'll notice Siri will do is she's gonna pull up the location that you're going to. She's gonna have a lag time of about four seconds to make sure it's the correct address, and then she automatically starts taking you there. So again, it's gonna show you what time you're gonna arrive based on the current time, how long total it's gonna take, and what that total distance is. One of the nice things is we know that the traffic here in Southern California, or really anywhere, can be pretty bad. So as an accident happens or clears up, your arrival time and different things are gonna update for you. As you begin driving, this is gonna zoom in or zoom out depending on what's moving around the map. You can choose to zoom in further yourself or zoom out again, depending on your preferences. If you wanna go ahead and have navigation speaking to you while you're driving, but still interface with a few things safely, of course, you can still notice that the navigation's going, I can still interface with anything I need. 
Uh, previously, you might notice that we'd spoke about the touchpad here in the steering wheel. I can then go through my mapping, messages, or various other things while my navigation's still going. So that way you can safely keep your eyes on the road and do anything that you need to. You can also go ahead and hold this back up. Siri, send a text message. Who do you want to send it to? Siri's gonna ask you who we're gonna send it to. She's then listening for who that person might be. One of the things you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is if the person's name is already saved in the phone, you could just have simply said, Siri, text, and use that person's name. If they're not saved in the phone, you're gonna wanna go ahead and strictly say that number. She's then gonna go ahead and ask you what you prefer to say. Should you push down on your hang up button, that stops Siri from listening, and you can go ahead and continue doing whatever you prefer. You can also do those same functions by simply holding this back up. Siri, dial 951-688-3332. And this is gonna be over to Walter's Mercedes-Benz front desk number. It's then ringing. I'm gonna to choose to hang up before I bother somebody, and that was working nice and simple for you. There's many other functions you can mention. Like I'd said, you can go ahead and start music. You can start Pandora. But again, one of the nicest things is, is you simply plug and play. You accept or decline your user agreement. You go ahead and plug your phone in and set it in a safe area, and choose to go ahead and use your voice commands as you're moving down the road. Keeps Apple CarPlay or Android Auto pretty simple and it makes things for you, the driver, very convenient. Very clean look to it as well. So this vehicle will have some very nice redefined features for you. In addition to that, we have a huge inventory, a large set of colors, and there's even more things to come for you guys.